Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel and I'd like to show you a new feature of Privacy Idea 2.12. This new feature is the Event Handler framework. Let's dive into it. If you already use Privacy Idea and you like the Privacy Idea policies, you probably will love the Event Handler framework. You may remember the policies. Policies are used to define the behavior of privacy idea. How privacy idea works. If an authentication occurs, if the user is authenticated and how he is authenticated. In contrast to this, the event handler framework does not change the behavior of privacy idea, but it adds a behavior. If a certain event occurs, now you can trigger a new action. This is achieved by um, event handler modules. Each API request represents an action. Oh, no, sorry. Each API request represents an event. Now you can, I show you a definition. Now you can attach an action that is defined by a handler module to a list of events, which means during token initialization, token init, the token initialization works as usual, but in addition, now the user notification handler module defines an additional action sending an email. This way you can add certain actions and define new workflows in privacy idea. In this simple case, we defined that if an administrator initializes a token, the user notification handler module should send an email. The handler module defines a list of actions and each, actions, each action comes with a list of options. And the action sent mail needs the options body of the email, email configuration, the SMTP server that should be used to send the email and the subject of the email. Okay. Other handler modules, for example, could trigger other actions like creating tokens or deleting tokens or whatever. This framework at the moment is not limited to anything. It's only limited by our own ideas. So let's enroll a token for the user. I am the administrator. I am an evil. I am enrolling a token and trying to impersonate this user. So I pick the user. I pick the user and enroll a new token. And now I enroll the new token. Now I am the administrator. I could scan the QR code and use this token to impersonate the user. But as we see here, the user just received an email from the system that the administrator, in fact, enrolled a token for him. So the user has the chance to verify and to stay tuned what happens to his tokens. I hope you like the new feature of the event handling. And I'm curious for your ideas for new scenarios and new workflows um, to be used with the event handler module. Privacy Idea 2.12 will be released next week, so stay tuned. Um, have fun using Privacy Idea, and thank you for watching.